Welcome back for another episode. Right, hey guys, like always, I'm out in the shed. Um, I'm not sure if the boat was like this in the last video, but I've spun everything around. So I've got a little bit more room to play with now without having to move it or anything like that. So yeah, like the last few videos, there'll be a longer update on the boat at the back end of this video. For now, we'll head over to the diving. So all the diving footage from this video is from our Puffy Challenge competition, which is a comp that our local spearfishing club holds annually. Yeah, we pretty well find where the good tides are with a nice small tide are through the year set a date this particular weekend it was up and down whether or not we were even going to run it because the weather forecast just kept changing so variable i think we had like 30 plus knots forecast there for a few days and we were going to call it off but the forecast came a little bit better sort of good enough to dive on a saturday and possibly get out on a sunday um, which some people did sunday morning and it didn't end up being too bad just sort of rainy and a few few little storms and stuff around but it wasn't too bad but yeah cluffy challenge i think this might be my third possibly Cluffy Challenge video. This year is no different. So I went diving with some guys that I've dived the challenge before with, um, some new guys, and we headed out chasing three species for points and an extra one for Meritorious if we could get it. We'll go check out that footage now and see how I went. It's quarter past four on the morning of day one of the 2022 Cluffy Challenge. It's a spearfishing comp that our local spearfishing club runs. It's got pretty good weather. Um, today it's going to be a bit rainy but I think the wind's down. Um, tomorrow is going to be pretty ordinary, tomorrow being Sunday. So yeah, sort of today's a day to make it happen if we can. The scoring's based on a target weight. So say you got a 10 kilo target weight, shoot a 10 kilo fish, get 100 points. Um, you can weigh three fish in, four points and you can put a fourth fish in if you like for a meritorious entry. For this comp, meritorious is the one that you want. Um, it's not all about the points. So yeah, we'll hook this boat up, fuel her up and get on the water. See that there. She's in. Righto, so we're after three fish for points, one fish for a meritorious entry. This is the first spot that we dived. It's a wreck, I've never dived it before. I did a few drops before this one. Um, I did see a few fish in those drops, but I never saw the actual wreck itself. So this is the only dive where I saw the actual wreck. And when we pulled up at this spot, we had three or four, I think, cobia swim up to the surface and just basically swim around the boat. And that's a cobia just to the right there that you can see the dark fish. It's Future Valley getting around. Had a bit of a look back at the wreck just to see if I could see anything else and decided to take the cobia. Now this is my first cobia. It was a pretty ordinary shot. It was in the guts. I know that part of the fish is fairly soft, so I sort of fed the float line down to it. I didn't want to put any weight on the fish at all. I wanted to let it sort of wear itself out just a little bit. And I really didn't want it to sort of fight against the float because I think it would have just ripped straight off. So kept a little bit of slack in that float line. Slowly, very slowly pulled it up till I got about sort of halfway up my float line, maybe a little bit more. I clipped my float off then, got a second gun and headed down and put a second shot in it. You see when I get down to the fish, it's still sort of just slowly swimming. It sees me and takes one little run and I put a really good second shot in it. And being my first cobia, I've never handled a cobia before in the water. I knew that they had some gnarly spikes just behind their head and it was pretty cool watching them just sort of come in and out. They could sort of like retract them and extend them. I was very wary of them, they looked super sharp. First species ticked off. Next species, nice little mangrove jack. It was just sitting down in between these two bommies. Nothing too crazy with that one. Gave me a pretty easy shot. So with species number two in the bag, that was pretty well it for day one. Now I threw this next clip in because it was really cool and at the time I had no idea what this black mass was. I could see it in the distance there and it slowly edged forward and I thought it was a tree branch with leaves initially. 
And it wasn't until I got a little bit closer they started separating a little bit and I realized it was a big pack of bubble lip brim or brown sweet lip. It's very strange. I've never seen them do that before and I've never seen them be that threatened by divers before. Normally they're very curious and swim right up to you. Yeah, they obviously felt threatened by me on that day. They, they needed to pack up and stand up and try and look real big. Kind of did the job there for a bit. Now I'm dropping down on this next spot and this is another boat that we found a few years back. We just sanded over it by a complete chance. Um, it's an interesting one, you might notice a few familiar objects hanging around it. I'll just sit down on the bottom here. Um, I've dived it a few times and it often gets nice golden trevally swimming around. And here's one coming in now. When I saw this guy I thought I need to get this fish, this is my third species. Let's see how I go. Great holding shot through the head. I let it do its thing on the bottom there, wear itself out a little bit. I made sure to keep it up off that wreck down there. And that was species number three for me. So not a massive point scorer. The target weight for these guys is pretty high, but still pretty good points and my third species. Over to a new spot. Now this is a bar cheek trout sitting in front of that little bommy there. I actually spotted him from the surface and it did not move at all. The only time it moved was after I took that shot. Now from memory it was about 55 to 60 centimeters long, somewhere in between there. It's a bit unusual for those little bit bigger trout to um, hang around like what that one did. So that was a fourth species for me, so I had options and in the end I ended up weighing that fish in along with the golden trevally and the cobia. And once everything was said and done, I ended up coming 13th out of 44 divers. The cobia wasn't looking too bad for biggest pelagic for the comp, but I ended up getting knocked off with a little bit bigger Spanish. Now let's have a bit more of a look at the project boat. I can get right around the whole boat now without having to move it or anything like that. I've also lifted the boat up a little bit so I can get underneath it and do a heap of work underneath, which I've already started. See under there, I've been filling any cracks and stuff like that. Got a bit of a plan sort of moving forwards as to how I'm going to attack the bottom of the boat and the whole, you know, the whole boat to, um, to re -jolcate. As well as that, I've done a heap of sanding. See up inside here, a lot of dust around the place. Um, everywhere where I'm going to flocate, it's heavily sanded. Anchor shelf is properly glassed in now. All up in that cabin there, I've been sanding away. It's um pretty well ready for flocate in there. As well as that, working flat out on tidying up the underside of the boat, which is coming along pretty well. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Get to keep up with the updates on the boat, um, all my diving and all the other stuff that I get up to. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, give it a like. If you haven't already, jump over onto my Instagram page as well. Just search my name, it'll, it'll come up. I post a bit of extra stuff on there, little reels and stuff and footage that I don't always use in my videos. So yeah, there's a bit of extra content over there that you might be missing out on. So yeah, again, thanks heaps for watching and I'll catch you on the next episode. Cheers.